Here's what we're angry about. Last night, we were at a mid-scale eatery. <laughs> <laughs> you know the place. Main's about $16 or $17. Yep. Uh, entrees, 8 to 12 Yeah. And we'd eaten. We'd eaten. We'd ha- we had eaten yeah. already. Yeah. We went there, but we were peckish. Yes. We noticed they had a children's menu. Yeah. On the children's menu, you could get small spaghetti bolognese, you could get nuggets and chips, or you could get a chocolate Freddo frog covered in jelly, which they referred to cleverly as a toad in a hole. The small bolognese was eight dollars. The nuggets were seven. The toad in the hole was five. <laughs> Andy and I what both a looked great at that. Price. We looked at the kids' menu. And we went, yeah. "That is exactly what we want to eat." Yeah. So we said to the waitress, "Hello, we'll have two spaghetti bolognese's and two frog in the holes, please, <laughs> from the kids' menu." And she said, "I'm sorry about that. You can't because you're over twelve. Ageist." And Andy and I went, "But we've got the money." And she yeah. said, "Yeah, but you're uh, you're over twelve, and we don't serve that." What's people. the difference? This is Andy now getting angrier. What's the difference, we yelled. Well, the difference is you're both clearly adults and we, we can't serve adults the kids' menu. But you don't have Todd in a hole or frog in a pond or whatever you want to call you it on the adults' menu. Small spaghetti for the adults. And, and I'm an adult who wants small spaghetti. Yeah. I've got my $8. Give me small spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> they would not. They refuse to let us order from the kids' menu. And I am sick to <laughs> death of looking at the kids' menu in a restaurant and wanting something to eat there and being made to feel like a shameful leper (laughs) because I want to eat something from the kids' menu and I should be ashamed of myself. That is why today on the show, Andy and I are launching Kids' Menu for Everyone. (laughs) We are launching a movement... KM4E. We are launching a movement to say to restaurants and eateries around the country... Yeah. Adults should not feel ashamed for wanting yeah. to eat from the kids' menu. Oh. Why do we have to be under 12? Why do we have to be under 15? Yeah. I want a small spaghetti bolognese. I've got the money. What's the difference? It's- if you're selling it to an 8-year-old, sell it to a 28-year-old. It's the same money. I've heard of kids going and getting fake ID just so they could be 12 years old here. Either that or we're going to start making 10-year-old fake IDs for adults. <laughs> Andy, what is the difference? As adults, we can buy kids' shoes. Hats, bags, games, beds, whatever we want without yeah. any questions asked. Why suddenly, when we want to buy their food, yeah. is it such a big deal? Which oh, is actually no. the only practical thing. It's I mean, the you same, get a... It's the same as the big bolognese, but it's a half serve. <laughs> it's not going to poison me. There's no logic involved. Give me the small bolognese. But they wouldn't, ladies and gentlemen. They, they would, would not, not. give they me the not. small bolognese. Kids menu for everybody, Andy. Oh. This is the beginning of a big thing. Yeah. Forget Make Poverty History. Well, don't forget it, but just put it aside for a second. Yeah. Because kids... Write it down. Put it aside. Remind yourself of it later. (laughs) Still a very important campaign. Once we solve this one. Once we solve this This is what we would like to focus on, possibly for the rest of our lives until the injustices are corrected. The people show. The people need to stand fine. Calm down. 131060 or at hamishnanny.com.au. Please ring now. If you want to a join the movement, but we'd love some suggestions yep, on, on how, how we can get the message across. How we can get the message across, and also out. We'd uh, like people to out restaurants or eateries or any type of place that's doing it. Yep. If you are a restaurant that's doing it, and you want to stand up and go, "Hang on, I've done the wrong thing." I've realised I've been we- part of age apartheid. Yeah, and I've been separating the adults and kids menu and restricting it to different people. If Maybe if you can stand up now. And look, obviously you won't be embarrassed. Join but us. Join us. Join. Mm. Be progressive. Go, mm. yeah, you know what? In the past we did separate the kids and the adults' menus, but if you're an adult you want to order from the kids' menu, mm. okay. Do that now it. or feel our wrath as we go across the nation. Gather the momentum of the people. Amanda on 131060, would you like to have the kids' menu for everybody? I would, very much so. <laughs> what, what, yes. what do you like from the kids' menu, Amanda? I like, I like the Alice in Wonderland from the Pancake Parlour. Oh, they yeah. won't let you have it, will they? Oh, no, no, but I take my son yeah. um, and he's seven this year yeah. and I just pretend that he wants two. Yeah. <laughs> so I order two and then I eat it. Amanda, I walked around Good. with a fake kid. For 14 years. <laughs> yeah. it's, not, yeah. it's not fun. Andy and I hang out the front of the pancake parlour like 16-year-olds yep. trying to buy beer. Well, they, they, Excuse I'd me, mate. Them, <laughs> I asked them if they could make an adult one, mm. uh, and they, they said no. They so, don't you know. do it. Why won't they let us eat from the kids' menu? So often the kids have the better stuff. Hey, Ham, I'm not saying 
that this isn't one of the key motivations for kidnapping across Australia. Sure. But then again, I'm not saying it's not. We don't have a lot of kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mission Andy, give us a buzz. 13, 10, 60. Get behind KM4E. Kids menu for everybody. What are you going to do about it? What should we do about it? And if you're an adult, admit, tell us, what do you like from the kids' menu? <laughs> Throw your support behind the movement. Welcome, everybody. Today is a bright new start to the future. You're Amish and Andy.